ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> the holidays are almost here, and if you're anything like us, you are freaking out about getting all your Christmas shopping done while you still can. You're probably also like us, freaking out about what to get your friends and family that they won't either return or give back to you next year. So if your loved ones have a Switch or they like video games, then we've put together a list of potential gifts that you won't have to keep the receipt for. Now we have absolutely jam-packed this video full of games to make sure there's something for everyone. So we've tried to sort it into categories to make it easier for you guys to follow. First we'll be talking about essential hardware to get for your friends and family if they don't have it already. And then we'll be talking about what we consider to be must-haves if you own a Nintendo Switch. These games cover all age groups and they're the ones that any self-respecting Switch owner should have in their collection. Then we'll move on to games we recommend for a younger audience, say 0 to 12. This is a pretty loose suggestion though, as people from all age groups will love these games. I'm 26 and I love them. We just didn't want to accidentally encourage somebody to buy Doom Eternal for their six year old. Then we have our suggestions for the slightly older gamers in your life. Finally, we've got a list of Switch games that might look super promising on the shelf, but we think you should probably avoid this holiday season. Now all that information is over and done with, let's start by crossing hitting those like and subscribe buttons off your holiday to do list this year. And let's jump into some kind of Nintendo holiday buying guide. We couldn't start this video full of Switch game recommendations without first suggesting you buy them a Switch if they don't have one already. The new Switch OLED model came out earlier this year and we've already covered it on our channel so check out our review if you'd like to know more information on it but we definitely recommend picking that one up over the original Switch. It's just better. If for some reason you can't get your hands on the OLED, we know they are pretty sought after, then we reckon the original Nintendo Switch bundle is the way to go. These come packaged with a free 3 month online subscription and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We all know that owning a Nintendo console and not Mario Kart is basically the 8th cardinal sin. If you're looking to pick up one of these bundles or the OLED for yourself, then click the link in our description below to purchase one from the low grade gamer and in turn help support our channel. We'd probably steer clear of the Switch Lite, unless of course that's what they've specifically asked for. It's good but it doesn't connect to the TV or a dock and that's the best part about a Switch, so just get them the OLED or the original bundle and we're sure your loved ones will be stoked. Now that we've got the obvious, buy someone a Switch out of the way, that someone is going to need some games. If for whatever reason whoever you're buying for doesn't own one of the following, it's a pretty safe bet to pick one of these up. No Switch is complete without... The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wilds. This is my favourite game and it's an absolute must have on the system. There are a few Zelda games on the Switch but this is the one that you should own first. Mario Odyssey. Like Zelda there are quite a few Mario games on the Switch now but this was made specifically with our favourite console in mind and is the best one. Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Smash Bros has been a fan favourite for ages and the Switch edition is the best out of all of them. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Guaranteed the first thing someone will ask you when you tell them that you own a Nintendo is, do you have Mario Kart? Next up we have Luigi's Mansion. Just because he's the lesser known brother doesn't mean that it's the lesser game. This one's also co-op so it's perfect if you're buying for two kids. Pokemon Sword and Shield. These are THE Switch Pokemon games and are also perfect if you're buying for two kids or a couple but otherwise only get one as they are essentially the same game. Animal Crossing New Horizons is definitely one of the best games on the system and decorating your island would be the perfect way to spend the holidays. There's also heaps of new DLC that's just been released so it's the perfect time to dive into Animal Crossing. Mario Party Superstars is a ridiculously fun game that the whole family can play. But please, whatever you do, do not get it confused with Super Mario Party. This one is really good, this one is terrible. Finally, we've got Dragon Quest Builders 2. It is so underrated that we've made a whole video about it. If your kid doesn't like this game, then we will personally reimburse you. Alrighty, so now that those are out of the way, you might be asking yourself, but Tom and Laura, my kids already own all of those games. Well don't you worry, because this next section is for you. 
These are the games that are perfect for the younger audience. Again, this doesn't mean that teenagers or your dad won't like them, it just means that kids will. Let's kick things off with some Pokemon games. Pokemon is perfect for any audience, but let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee specifically was super easy and therefore perfectly catered to a younger audience. If you do go for these, then definitely try to find one of these Pokeball controllers as an added gift. They were our favourite things about the game and just made the experience that much more fun. Pokemon Snap probably isn't the game your child wants if they've asked for Pokemon, but if you get it as well, we promise you they'll love it. It's an adorable little game where you take photos of your favourite monsters. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX is again, probably not the first Pokemon game you should get. But in this one, you get to be a Pokemon. You're literally transformed into one at the start of the game. So that's pretty cool. Moving on, we've got Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town, a remake of an older title, but still a fantastic cozy farming simulator. New Super Lucky's Tale is an adorable 3D platformer with bright, bubbly visuals. If there's a Spyro the Dragon or a Mario fan in your house, then this is the one for them. Now when I was young, I wish there was a game like DC Superhero Girls Teen Power. If you know a little girl who likes video games, then she'll probably love this one. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury is the second best mainline Mario game on the Switch. Get Odyssey first, but definitely get this one second. It was also new out this year. The next game technically doesn't exist anymore, but we have recently seen it on some shelves, and that is Mario 3D All-Stars. Nintendo stopped producing these in March this year, so it's all the more reason to pick it up if you can find it, because you definitely won't be able to next year. Maybe you want to get a game that you can play with your kids this holiday season. These next three titles are games that the whole family can play together. WarioWare Get It Together was released this year and is a really fun, chaotic multiplayer game that's bound to make you laugh on Christmas Day. Mario Golf Super Rush is the most recent addition to the Mario sporting franchise and could be a hit with all you dads out there as well who might rather be on the golf course than playing video games with your kids. And lastly, we've got Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Have your kids ever asked you who would win in a fight between SpongeBob or Patrick? Give them this game and let them find out for themselves. This is perfect for any kid who loves cartoons. Next up, we have some games that would probably be enjoyed most by older players. Whether it's because they're a bit harder or maybe they've just got some more mature themes. The first game we have to share with you, Metroid Dread, is the perfect example of this. This is Nintendo's latest and greatest first party title and the only reason it isn't on the must own for everyone section is because it is pretty hard. So if the person you're buying for loves a challenge, then this would be it. Also new this year, we've got Monster Hunter Rise. Slaying giant monsters with your loyal doggo is always an epic time. And it's also multiplayer. So when you add friends to the mix, you've got a pretty perfect present right there. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin is a super underrated adventure and has everything you could want with platforming, combat, and even the most realistic farming mechanics I've seen anywhere other than Farming Simulator. Shin Megami Tensei V was announced alongside the release of the Switch and has finally just been released. And it was worth the wait, being one of the best RPGs on the system. Speaking of the best RPGs on the system, it seems like the perfect time to mention Xenoblade Chronicles. This was released on multiple older Nintendo consoles, so make sure whoever you're buying it for doesn't have it already, but it's a fantastic RPG with one of the best stories we've experienced. Years 9 is also a great RPG that happened to release this year. We probably wouldn't pick it up over the two previously mentioned titles, but if there's an RPG lover in your life, they'll love this one too. Let's jump back into one of Nintendo's main IPs, shall we? Besides Breath of the Wild, there are three other Zelda games that are must-haves on the Switch. Link's Awakening is by far the cutest out of all of them, and despite being a remake of a Game Boy game, it holds up extra well in the modern age. Skyward Sword HD is more of a must-own for Zelda fans rather than for everyone, but it released this year, so we had to mention it. Definitely get this Zelda game last, though. The third one is Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. This is a Warriors game and not technically a Zelda title, so as a result it doesn't play like one. 
It does, however, contain certain canon story elements from Breath of the Wilds and is essentially a hack and slash Breath of the Wilds prequel. Did we say three other Zelda titles worth owning? Well, technically, if you include this little guy, it's four. Cadence of Hyrule was developed by a small indie team entrusted with Nintendo's precious Zelda IP. And oh boy, did they do a good job with it. Imagine a fully fledged Zelda game where you can only move to the beat of the music. It's absolutely fantastic. Keeping in the indie spirit, Hades is one of the most praised independent video games of all time and for good reason. This is so much fun and for half the price tag of a big budget title, it makes the perfect gift. Fire Emblem Three Houses is one of our personal favourites. It is definitely a must play on the Switch and only didn't make it into the opening section of this video because we thought a six year old might struggle with some of its strategic elements. Plus, it's also kind of a dating sim. Another of our personal favourites is the Ori series. These Metroidvanias are quite challenging, but the incredible art style inspires you to keep trying to uncover the rest of the beautiful world. Not to mention that the soundtrack is also the best we've ever heard. There's a double pack of this one containing both games, so pick that one up if you can, but they are worth buying individually if you can't find that. Immortals Phoenix Rising is an underrated Zelda-like experience that is quite often overlooked. So don't do that, it's really fun. If the person you're buying for likes horror, then Little Nightmares 2 is perfect. It's arguably the best horror game released on the Switch this year. RPG Maker MV is a very unique game where you make a game. Parts of this, like the coding, are quite challenging. But if you know someone who wants to get into game design, then it would make an awesome gift. So there are all of our recommendations. We are sure that you'll find something here that'll make someone's Christmas day. If you've got any questions about any of the games, or you're unsure if someone's gonna like something specific, then leave all of your questions in the comments below and we'll try our best to help you out. Now that we've told you what to get, we wanted to give you a few warnings about games that might mislead you when you see them on the shelves. Essentially, what not to get. Now if somebody has asked you specifically for one of these, and by all means, go for it. But other than that, they're definitely not worth taking a risk on. Fortnite and Rocket League are great games and we wouldn't blame you for seeing one on the shelf and picking it up as a gift. But they're actually free downloads so you don't need to spend a single cent on them. It's definitely worth spending your pennies on another game instead. Don't get us wrong, Kirby Star Allies is a really fun game, but it's very easy and very short. And for a full price game, you would be pretty upset if you had to buy your kids another one on Boxing Day because they already finished this one. SpongeBob is a character beloved by all and Battle for Bikini Bottom was a great game when it was first released in the GameCube era. But the remaster on the Switch is a bit lackluster and definitely hasn't aged well. You're far better off getting them almost any other 3D platformer on the system. Sid Meier's Civilization VI is a super in-depth strategy sim game, but is extremely convoluted and quite difficult. Basically, don't get it unless someone is a Civilization fan. It's not bad, it's just not for most people. Nino Kuni looks like a very family-friendly game with its adorable characters and beautiful Studio Ghibli art style, but it's actually really hard and if we struggled with it, your young child probably will too. Then we've got the Darksiders series. These are great and I really, really love them, but unfortunately the second and third games are just plagued by bugs that can render the game unplayable at times. And we all know how frustrating that can be. Maybe the most recent disappointment in the world of video games is Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition. And the botched name is merely foreshadowing for the games themselves. They basically took three classic Grand Theft Autos, made them worse, and then re-released them as this trilogy. Even the developers admit that they screwed up here, so you would too if you gave it to someone for Christmas. Well that's it, the end of our holiday buying guide for 2021. We're pretty sure that there's something here for everyone and hopefully we've given you enough insight into what to buy and what not to buy. If you are still confused about what to get for someone though, you could always go the route of getting them an eShop gift card. There are so many amazing games that don't even have a physical release and that you can only get on the Nintendo Switch eShop. 
So getting someone one of these vouchers would honestly make an amazing gift. If we can help even one person this holiday season with this guide, then we would be so happy. We know there are so many buying guides out there, so thank you for watching this one. From all of us here at Some Kind of Gaming, Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. And Happy Kwanzaa. Thanks, Mason.